In today's video, I'll be trying my hand at gouache and giving my first impressions of this fantastic new medium. I'll be using some cheaper Montmartre paints, they work well enough and for the price they seemed good enough to tinker with until I became confident enough to use more expensive gouache. Keeping it at the right consistency is hard, especially when you don't want any streaks like I did with the background of this particular piece. I suppose watercolours can have this difficulty as well, but moving from watercolours transparent washes to gouache's smooth opaque strokes was really new to me, especially since I've always struggled with similar paints like acrylics. This was probably the hardest bit for me. I found the paint was drying too fast and wouldn't reactivate like watercolours do. But my big concern was the colours. In the end I liked and probably preferred the overall piece, but at first I was a little concerned about how much darker they were compared to the digital sketch I didn't procreate which was a great deal lighter, which you can see here. For anyone trying gouache for the first time, I'd suggest to use a blank sheet of paper to try your colours in swatches until you're sure of the outcome. I probably should have painted a light wash before going over thickly because my brush started to pull up previous layers and it became even harder to cover up the patchy spots. You also need to limit the number of layers you add on top of each other. Although it is nice to be able to paint over your last layer, it isn't like acrylics and came up from the paper after four more layers. Because gouache has such a chalky texture, I discovered this can be rubbed off when I lent on the paper with my sweaty palm and smudged the paint. But if you were to use a matte clear coat spray like the sort you do with charcoal or chalk pencils, you shouldn't run into any problems. I love watercolours and gouache because they are unpredictable, which can be a bad thing for beginners, but once you have gained experience you can get that to work in your favour. Although this video has mostly been me making points about the difficulties of gouache, it is an amazing medium and is often easier than watercolours at times, even if it's just because it doesn't bleed. However, I did run into one small problem. Something has peeled away at the colours. After keeping it in a filing cabinet for safe storage, the paint appeared to fall off or something. I do have a silverfish problem in my drawers. I don't know if they eat gouache or not. If you know anything about this, please leave a comment below. But so far, I haven't had any more trouble. Anyway, I love gouache and am tempted to change my medium. I hope you learned something from my mistakes in this video. If there's any advice or questions you have, please leave a comment and subscribe to get more of our videos. And see you next time.